Top apes. Hi, lady apes. Gentlemen apes, this is Ape Andy. Now, um, DRS, direct registration of shares under your name. That is the way for M-O-A-S-S, -S, okay? It's not a spelling bee contest. It's DRS for M-O-A-S-S. -S. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Now, um, in other news, um, ladies and gentlemen, the overstock ruling has just come out a couple of days ago, okay? That was in the great state of Utah. Now, um, the ruling has been made, so a precedent has been set, okay? Companies are allowed to issue um, crypto dividend, and it's not manipulation of the market, as called by SHF, who were shorting Overstock, okay? Overstock has been shorted, 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 shorted. Overstock issued crypto dividend, in effect, a share recall because those SHF couldn't issue crypto dividend in lieu of, okay? So in effect, it was a short squeeze, very successful short squeeze, but then the SHF didn't like that. So they sued Overstock and the great state of Utah, the court ruling was that yes, companies are allowed to do crypto dividend. It is not manipulation of the market and no more um, lawsuits on overstock on this issue of uh, manipulation of the market because of a crypto dividend by overstock. No more such lawsuits are allowed. In other words, SHF lost for good. They can't appeal. Overstock won for good. So with this precedent, other companies, many, many other companies, many, 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 many other companies are allowed to do crypto dividend if they get shorted and shorted and shorted and shorted and shorted, okay? And the only way to counter that might be to do a crypto dividend, which the shorts cannot write a check in lieu of for the dividend. If it was cash, if it was US dollars, the SHF could write a dividend in lieu of and not return the stock to the company. But Overstock issued a crypto dividend, which the short cannot pay, so they have to return the stock to the company to pay the crypto dividend to the investors. So, um, yes, um, this is not speculation. Um, if the company of GameStop decides to do something similar, the chairman of the board and the CEO don't have to worry about SHF filing a lawsuit against GameStop for issuing something similar to what Overstock did because it was legal precedent, okay? There was a legal precedent, that. Now that decision is not in Ape's hand. That decision is in the hands of the company of GameStop, chairman of the board, RC, which is Ryan Cohen, and CEO, which is Matt Furlong, okay? so. That decision is in the hands of the company. Now, what decision is in the hand of the apes? Put the share under your name. Direct registration of shares under your name. That is your decision. If you don't like this form of going about things, then just don't DRS. That's fine. It is your own individual decision. I have nothing against that if you don't like DRS. But some people are not satisfied with just themselves not doing DRS. Some people have to take it one step further, one big step further and say, hey, all the other apes, don't do DRS. This doesn't help Moas. Why do you need to spread anti-DRS FUD? You see, the more anti-DRS FUD you see around, the more it tells me as an individual, the SHF doesn't like DRS.
okay? So, that said, please consider whether or not to, yes or no, to DRS your shares. It is okay if you don't DRS your shares. It really helps the MOAS if you DRS your shares. And I don't know if you're after MOAS, because if you're an SHF watching this video, of course you don't like MOAS or GME, so therefore you really don't like DRS. So really, you should attack those people promoting DRS. Because you're an SHF who doesn't like MOAS. Because you're shorting GME. You don't want MOAS to happen, so you don't want retail to DRS. That is why you're telling other people not to DRS. Because if you're just an ordinary retail, and if you hear people such as this, Andy, telling you to DRS, it is your right as an individual to consider to do it yes or to not do it no. But only those SHF who are scared of MOAS are also scared of DRS. So they have to tell other people don't do DRS, spread FUD about DRS, do anti-DRS campaign. Okay, this is the point of this video, okay? The more anti-DRS campaign you hear, you should be happy. The more convincing it is to you that DRS is the way, because some apes are doing it already. Not many apes, because some apes are believing the anti-DRS fight. Some apes are believing the for DRS campaign, okay? Am I getting paid for this? No, no. You don't have to do it through computer share. I don't even want to mention their name. Just go through a transfer agent that gives you direct registration of shares of GameStop under your name. Hey, even GameStop is tweeting. Put your initials, put your initials. I'm taking that as a big hint from GameStop. Are you? It's your call to take it as a hint or not, okay? So, now, that said, you should be asking that question. Hey, Andy, Andy, Ape Andy, are you saying that I should put 100% GME into DRS? Huh? Okay, if you have 10 shares of GME, uh, if I have 10 shares of GME, Andy, should I put 10 shares all into DRS. Again, a Andy is not a YouTuber. I'm not after subscribers. I'm after telling you the truth so that you can make your own decision. Because I saw the truth, okay? That's why I'm telling you the truth. Because we're all retailers. We're all on the same side, okay? There's some information that SHF don't want you to know, like DRS. Okay, now... The question is, huh? again, should I put, uh, should you put 100% GME portfolio into DS, DRS? The honest answer is no. Wait, what, no? Andy, are you anti-DRS now? No, I'm not. I'm a retail telling you the honest truth. Well, truth intrinsically is honest. I'm telling you the honest information. I'm telling you the truth for you to make up your own minds. Me? I am putting 20% of my GME portfolio under DRS. Why, why, why? Hey, Pandy, if DRS is so good for GME MOAS, why don't you put 100% of GME into DRS? The honest truth is that When MOAS happens, the price goes up, right? Really fast. In the case that you want to sell very quickly during MOAS, which I personally think would take weeks to play out, if your choice is to sell very quickly during MOAS, when MOAS happens, because you're afraid the MOAS would last only one day, two day, three days, but I think it'll last weeks, one week, two weeks, three weeks, the shortest. If you want to sell very fast during MOAS, to be honest, keep your share at your broker. So, DRS 
20% to 30% of your GME shares, 80% to 70% of your GME portfolio stays at the broker. That's the way I am doing it, okay? But, 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 hey, Bandy, don't, don't you want to sell 100% during MOAS? Of course I do. Of course I do. But the honest thing to say is that don't sell all at once. Buy and hold, sell a part, and buy and, uh, and, buy and hold, 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 another part, and sell later. Speaking of buy and hold, the logic of buying and holding is to buy and hold, right? DRS shares intrinsically allows you to hold because you aren't able to sell overnight as fast. It may take three to five trading days to sell. That's the honest information. That's the truth about DRS, okay? So, if you're against buying and holding, don't do DRS. If you're for buying and holding, the holding part complies with DRS. DRS, your shares, complies with the buy and hold part. You get me, right? Because it's not that quickly to sell if you DRS, which is holding and holding. You know, see, see when MOAS happens, exit strategy, sell 30%, sell 30%, sell 30%, 10%, keep for a longer time because you don't know where the peak is, right? You see the price going up high, sell 30%. Oh, the price went up higher, sell 30%. Hope oh, the price keeps going higher, sell 30%. But you don't have a crystal ball, right? You don't know how high it's going to go. You keep 10% or 20%. That's the part I'm doing DRS, okay? Speaking for myself. You can do it or not do it. You can DRS or you cannot do DRS. If you don't DRS, I'm fine. I'm happy for you. <laughs> but if you take one step further to tell other people, don't do DRS, don't do DRS. What's the point? Just don't do DRS yourself. Why do you have to tell the people around you not to do DRS unless you're at SHF? Be strong, apes. Love AMC and GME.